This was bad. What was I going to do? I needed to calm down. Just calm down. Calm down and think. There had to be a way to save them. There had... The antidote. The antidote. I didn't have time to explain. I took off running toward the exit. Sigma, where are you going? Stay here. I'll be right back. I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment room. put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. Sweat was pouring down my face, but I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't time. I dug frantically through Dio's coat until... Aha! <laughs> Found it. Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses the whole bottle at once. Shit. I can't save both of them. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. One minute? Shit. I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. You gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparu. I blinked, and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. No. I couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injected me with tubocurine. With every ounce of strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. Kay and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand, I could feel the injector gun with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or Kay? No, oh, what was I thinking? There's only one answer. Phi. I didn't even have a choice. 
After all, Kay's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. I'm sorry, Kay. I summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself toward Phi. After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. Injected you with neostigmine. It's a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. It's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Why did you pick me? Because I can't use the injection gun on Kay. It never get through the metal. Then why didn't you inject yourself? <laughs> Guess you've got a point. Honestly? Didn't even cross my mind. You're the biggest idiot on the planet. Hey, come on. Is that any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt. To you, no goddamn way. I'm not gonna. Her words slurred and slowed, and her eyes fluttered to closed. She wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing and see her chest rise and fall. Good. Fi's gonna be all right. But, Kay. I looked over in his direction. That was when I noticed it. Open. There's a hole here on the back of your head. Yeah, it looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. Wait, then he... But when could he have... It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. But what if he'd lied? Could Kay have taken the key? How he'd gotten it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was that Kay had been able to remove his armor. And he had. Holy shit. Then that would mean Dio's killer is... I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body and crawled toward Kay. Kay? Wake up! Come on, talk to me! I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had, so you took the other door. After you went the long way around through the warehouse and the crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. I bumped into Phi and we went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you. Or we saw your armor, I guess. By then, you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, you went to the treatment room and killed Dio. 
You must have turned off the oxygen to his pod, although you probably didn't stick around and make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before Fi and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you needed us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. Then you ran around and took the long way back to the lounge, so you could enter through the rear door. Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you'd expected. Kay, wake up. Something's happened. You pretended to wake up, very disoriented and confused. But what is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. I couldn't... Who did he kill? Me. The old woman. What? She was like a mother to me. She showed me how to see... how to see meaning in my life. Wait, are you saying... Well, hold on. What do you mean, here? Sigma, unfortunately, we are out of time. There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. You must pay attention. Cannot forget. Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I be remembering anything for more than a few seconds? If you see a lion with two heads devouring the sun, remember... Remember these letters. M-I-L-K-E-V. Second gate. What the hell? Hey, Kay? Who told you to tell me this? No. Who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. What? No, that's... That's impossible. That face. It's... it's my face. I felt a sharp pain in my left wrist, and my body collapsed unceremoniously. The second drug. To procuring. My vision began to blur, and my head felt unnaturally heavy. The world faded away, and my consciousness slipped down into the cold, dark waters of nothingness. Okay, so that seems to be the K ending.
Yep, K end. So K is sigma through the looking glass. But how? Okay. All right. So I think, because it doesn't look like this is still locked. Um, and I really don't think we have enough to solve that. So I think next we'll go through the, what was it, cyan door. And with Alice, and we should be getting a whole bunch of other endings. Looks like there's a lot more to go through. Oh my goodness. It's very long. Okay, well thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Virtue's Last Reward.